it's like reward in full without reckoning no deduction nothing allah is giving in full let's see the hadith here ibn umar radiyallahu anhu narrated allah's messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam said the believer who mingles with the people and is patient upon their harming him will have a greater reward than the believer who does not mingle with the people and does not show patience upon their harming him so here this hadith is narrated by ibn umar radiyallahu anhu and the first thing here al mu'minu allazi yuqalitu qalata is you know meeting and nas with the people was wa yasbiru ala azahum and he did the sabr on aza any thing that harms you that literally you know have pain it's not physical pain you know when somebody is hurting you in your heart azahum azamu ajran for them is a greater reward because they are meeting the people and because of the aza because of the hurting of people their ajr is azmu ajran min al mu'minin their ajr is greater than the one who al mu'min allazi la yuqalitu he doesn't meet annas the people wala yasbiru ala azahum he does not mean and not even he do sabr on anything which is harming him so both are not equal isn't it so here in this hadith the comparison is one mu'min who is meeting the people for the sake of allah even though he is getting himself for herself hurt you know how you get hurt people literally shoot the arrows in your body with their talk with their hurtful talk and you know that if you go particular place you will get hurt but still you go there for the sake of allah so here al mu'min allazi yuqalitu he meets the people an nas wa yasbiru the not only meeting he is doing yasbiru he is he is doing sabr that is the key thing he has to do the sabr ala azahum when they are hurting you you know people keep on hurting they they talk in such a manner that literally is piercing your heart but still you are keeping the patience you are listening and keeping the patience because you don't want to destroy that party you don't want to hurt them and after that you leave that place isn't it but the person who is not going anywhere thinking that he will be hurt and if he is going then he is not doing yasbiru he is not doing sabr so both are not equal so i know this world sometimes just to join the relationships we have to go to some parties or some marriage function or so on so forth because we can't say no to the people isn't it because we have to join the relationship otherwise we won't smell the jinna means you can't even enter you can't even think of entering jinna so what you have to do you have to do sabr so when you go to such places tell yourself prepare yourself before going there that this is the hadith remind yourself al mu'min allazi yuqalitu an-nasa wa yasbiru ala azahim azamu ajran so i have to get the more ajr so you're going to do sabr i'm not saying just you know they are humiliating they are hurting and you be there just meet them and greet them then you can leave there's nothing wrong instead of not going there and or going and talking bad to them because just imagine some party is going on some function is going on and people are hurting 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 and up to a certain extent you can tolerate but after that you can't some people they have high bp issue some people have uh, you know heart issue they can't tolerate after a certain extent so you have to do yes biru but after that you can greet them or whatever the thing is whether they are offering anything you can have that and you can leave after that nobody is pressurizing you but the thing is on as on hurting you have to keep quiet why because you want ajr from allah subhanahu wa taala 
um, many people they say oh we have to stop the injustice but that is not the right time that time is just keep yourself calm and cool before time also you can leave sometimes you don't feel like having the food also because people hurt you so much and you are completely devastated and you are so much hurt that it something may happen to you i know sometimes it happens just congratulate them greet them well and just leave them that's it don't say anything bad or don't do anything just leave allah knows because you are literally hurt many times it happens whether it's in the friend circle whether especially in the immediate relatives they hurt you so much they talk indirectly they talk sarcastically or sometimes they don't talk anything but their behavior is very nasty very hurting and very humiliating in direct way as if you are not welcome there but you have to do sabar just say good words and leave you can leave early nobody is uh, pressurizing you to you have to be there and you have to hurt yourself because your life is also important if you are hurting yourself you won't be able to do the ibadah you won't be able to fulfill your duty as a mu'min and let's move to the next hadith so hayb radiyallahu anhu narrated allah's messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam said strange is the case of a believer there is good for him in everything that this is only for the believers if a blessing reaches him he is grateful to allah which is good for him if an adversity reaches him he is patient which is good for him so here what we learn allah's messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam said strange is the case of a believer al mu'minun there is good for him in everything like good for him in everything means here ajaban ila amr al mu'minin inna amarahu any matter kullahu lahu khair any matter there is khair wa laysa zalika li ahadin illa li mu'minin in asabatuhu sarra'u shakar like you know strange is the case of a believer there is good for him in everything this is only for the believer only for the believer if uh, if blessing reaches him he is grateful and if it uh, uh, is good for him if adversity reach him he is patient which is good for him zalika li ahadin illa lil mu'minin in asabathu sarra'u shakar فكان خيرا له وان اصابته ضراء صبر فكان خيرا له so whether something good he is grateful to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala what does it mean something uh, blessing reaches you know uh, birth of a child you are thankful to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala isn't it you always praise allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you are more closer to allah so you all be thankful whether it's the birth of a child whether uh, you have given a nice home any blessing or whether you went for the hajj whether you went for the umrah any blessing you are grateful to allah and like the most beloved blessing is the blessing of iman so always thankful which is good for him if an adversity asabat hu darra and he adversity touches you he is patient he is doing sabr inna asabathu dharau sabra fa kana khairan lah you know if uh, any adversity reaches he is patient which is good for him many times it happens you know you think and you make dua and you plan something but it goes other way around you have to keep patience you have to do sabr ask allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that time some people they comment negative way because they are ignorant people they want to hurt you but have patience do complete sabr next hadith nazar bin anas radiyallahu anhu narrated that anas radiyallahu anhu said if i had not heard the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam say you should not long for death then i would certainly have long for it 
you know, I don't think, oh, Sahaba is saying such a thing like uh, they want to long for death. La tatamanna ul mouth. So he, he heard like we shouldn't long for death. So he said, if I didn't know, I might have asked for the death. Because Sahaba, especially Makki period, they have gone a lot. Persecution was so severe. It wasn't easy to practice Islam. And these days also, if you look around, whole world is going through that persecution. This is like a Makki period. So we have to have the sabr. We have to have the patience. You can't long for death. You can't because this hadith is so important. La ta tamanna ul maut. Never uh, like a tamanna for maut. Never long for death. Next hadith. Abu Hurairah radhi Allah narrated, Allah's Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa said, Allah the Exalted says, I have nothing to give but paradise as a reward to my slave, a true believer who if I cause his dear friend to die, he remains patient. This is so important. This is narrated by Abu Hurairah radhi Allah Ma li ibadil mu'minin in the jaza'un is a khabtu Safiyahu min ahli dunya summa ihtasabuhu illa jannah. So, narrated by Allah's Messenger, sallallahu alayhi I have nothing to give but paradise. Allah says, I will give paradise as a reward to my slave. So, uh, to my slave who is the dear ones die, he or she will remain patient with lot of sabr so sabr is the key thing here you know people they lose themselves they start talking in such a manner when somebody's their loved ones die they say such kind of words which is against iman iman of a person you can't say because we believe in qada of allah and when you believe in uh, Qadr of Allah, you can't say such words. You have to have complete sabr at that time. Complete sabr. You remember that woman, she was yelling and crying and Prophet ﷺ and, uh, came and tried to console her and she said, you don't know what happened to me. I have gone through so much and she was loud that time and later on when she came to know it was Prophet ﷺ, she regret and she went back. But that was too late. That is the next hadith we're going to see. Sabit radiallahu narrated, I heard Anas radiallahu say, Prophet sallallahu said, patient is the first stroke of a calamity. When we should uh, do the patient, as sabru in the sadamatil ula. Sabr is in the mere sadama, when calamity ula, the First calamity hits you that moment of time, you have to do sabr. You have to keep the patience. So patience is like a thing. It's like a training a horse. Like how they train a horse. They train a horse by keeping them hungry for many days. That's the training they give. That's the same way we have to train ourselves sabr because we want jannah. Why we are keeping patience, sabr. And whoever keep patience, they will win. Like people, they do many tests in this world. Giving one cookie for a person and two, uh, like, you know, there was a test was done. And uh, they said for, uh, to a uh, child, if you keep patience, uh, after 15 minutes, I'll give you two cookies. If you want right now, I will give one. So, the child, he kept patience for 15 minutes. He got two cookies. Later on, it was said the time was increased. And later on, he was getting more and more. Just to explain the sabr thing, you know. But here, Allah is saying in the ayahs and the hadith that with the sabr, you achieve so much. So, one has to stop yourself. And sabr is the last hadith. What we learn is as sabru in the sadmatil ula. When calamity first strike you, that time you have to do the patience. So a quick review. 
as sabru sabr and we have seen the different meaning and the calamity hits that time you have to keep the patience and complete submission to allah subhanahu wa taala and here and here here we learn inna ma yuwaffa sabiruna ajrahum bi ghairi hisab those who do sabr they get the ajr bi ghairi hisab like without reckoning and also we learn the believer who mingle with the people and they harm you and still with the patience you endure it instead of not meeting the people and not keeping the sabr so in that we learn so many things you can go to the people and meet them but keep the sabr you don't have to you know completely uh, fell sick by you know hurting hurtful talk but for few minutes you can spend and you can come back it doesn't mean that they are saying something which is hurting you uh, no it's not so just give them some quality time and then you can keep patience and you can come back and never say oh, i will never ever go such and such place because they hurt me so much i know it's really hard but as i mentioned for the tell yourself make uh, to raka before going and make lot of dua and go there and tell yourself remind yourself this hadith and tell i'm allah taala i'm meeting al mu'minu allazi yukhalitu an-nasa wa yasbiru ala azahim azamu ajran min al mu'minin so tell yourself allah taala i'm meeting just for your sake and i don't want to cut off the relationship and keep patience meet them nicely and come back and maintain a distance because you know if they are hurting and uh, you are en- don't entertain them also and don't be hard or harsh uh, rude to them okay and the next thing we uh, we learn and believers case is strange you know uh, when blessing reach he is grateful and when adversity reach he is patient which is good for him and also we learn like we shouldn't long for death never ever and also we learn that uh, i have nothing to give but paradise if you give patience on the death of the loved ones complete patience then allah said nothing can be given to a mu'min who keep the patience on the loved of the death one is the paradise jannah and the last thing we learn patience is the first stroke of the calamity as-sabru in the sadmatul ula jazakallahu khairan kaseeran subhanakallahumma bihamdika nashhadu an la ilaha illa anta nastaghfiruka wa natubu